We know that good practical work is at the heart of science teaching and learning. And it's one of the things that makes science distinctive to other subjects, is that students get hands-on practical work. We also know that without good planning and preparation, that practical lessons aren't often as successful as we would like them to be. For instance, take the screaming jelly baby, which is a common experiment done. A lot of people in schools have seen that. However, if you actually ask students what were the science learning outcomes from that experiment, they probably won't remember which means that possibly the practical wasn't done at the right time or wasn't given a good explanation or wasn't used as it was appropriate. At the National Science Learning Centre, we've developed a course uh, with the Royal Society of Chemistry, CLEPS and others to actually encourage uh, people who've come to the end of their initial teacher training to develop a practical repertoire of skills across the sciences at Key Stage 3, 4 and beyond to embed some of the skills of good practical science from the beginning as well as providing source of information and material that teachers can use when they're working their first job. And actually taking a look at their first term's worth of uh, lessons and actually seeing where they can fit in good quality practical work, whether that be demonstration, classroom practicals, or going outside the classroom and doing learning outside the classroom in a practical way. The course looks as well at how to make an effective, safe environment for students to work in and trying to bust quite a few of the myths that are around good, safe, practical work. Working with others being really important, and also being able to develop good working relationships with those who may support you in your classroom and beyond. 